everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we could do another kind of wear test. It's not really going to... Actually, no, it might be like half a review. But today, I'm going to be putting the Nano Coco HD foundation to the test. So previously, when I tested out the foundation and used the foundation, I've only worn it for like a short period of time, aka filming, taking it off right after because there's nowhere to go. But in today's video, we're actually going to put it to the test and I'm hoping to clock in like a 12 hour, 10 hour kind of day. So fingers crossed, we can do this. If you want to see how the foundation performs as well as my thoughts, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Super easy, super free. Let's get into the video. All right, so I brought you guys in a little bit closer and I've already done my eyes. This I did in a previous video, which was a beginner short little tutorial on how to do a foolproof and effortless smoky eye. Anyway, into the base. So as I said in my full face, first impressions of the Nana Coco brand, this foundation, this one right here, could high key become a favorite. That's why I really want to put it to like a proper, proper freaking test, like hands down. So I figured we're going to use a base that I know is really good. And then I'm going to use the foundation, pair it up with some of the Nano Coco products. Might as well keep the base going. And then yeah, I'm gonna give you guys some live updates throughout the day. So let's go. So it is currently 9, 9.20, 9.20. 921 sorry it is now 921 so we're going to have like two check-ins throughout the day and then the final one will come at about 9 p.m okay so for primer today i'm going to go in with the ordinary high spreadability fluid primer this is a really pretty like gentle primer i found that it works perfectly for my skin type um i purchased it from cold beauty and i have not been able to put it on since. As I said, I'm using the HD foundation. This is in the shade Classic Tan. So I'm just gonna apply two and a half pumps. And then I just like to apply it or rather spread it out on my face using a brush. And then I'll just kind of go in with a beauty blend afterwards. I feel like just spreading it out with a brush helps so that the product doesn't like all get absorbed um, into the sponge. Then I'm just going to blend it out with my Wet n Wild Super Squishy Sponge. This is like one of the best beauty sponges I've ever tried. And it's super affordable and I know it's really good also because it's always freaking sold out. <laughs> so every time I like see it online I grab like three at a time. This is honestly just like one of my more perfectly matched foundations. I'm just going to pair it up with the Sister Concealer um, in the shades Latte and Eggshell. Um, the reason why I use two is because Latte is more of my color correcting shade. It's quite similar to the foundation shade. And then I use Eggshell to brighten. Then I'm just going to set my face pretty lightly using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I haven't found a powder that's like for my face that's better than this one. So that's just what I always go with. For the under eye area, I'm going to go into the banana shade from the contour palette. And just use it to brighten up. I love using pressed banana powders. This one and the one in the Wet n Wild um, Duo Contour Palette. Oh, so good. Sticking with the same contour palette, I'm just going to bronze up my face. This base, guys, if it stays like this throughout the day, I'm sold. I'm sold. Next, we're going to go in with blush. This is in the shade Pink Coral. Then we're going to seal everything using the Nano Coco Fixing Spray all-in-one. I really don't like the rose scent, but 
the setting spray performs so i'm willing to just hold my breath for a few seconds okay then we're going to go in with a bit of highlighter um wet and mild precious petals just making sure to blend it out really nicely For lips, I think let's go darker, go home. I'm gonna go in with the Nano Coco Lip Finity Long Lasting Matte Lip Cream in the shade Medusa. It's a super dark, cool tone purple. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Okay guys, that is the base done. I will catch up with you later on for our next checkup. Hey guys, we're back. I'm kind of tired and it's only 1.32. Makeup's been on for about three hours and the base is looking fresh. Like honestly, it does not look bad at all. It's not cakey. It basically looks like how I left it, okay? Like it looks really good. I think let me zoom you in so that you guys can check it out. Normally when it comes to my foundation, I always find it like separating around my nose area with time. That's like the one basic thing. That's where it's at. I've just been taking some photos and doing some admin, so I haven't worn my glasses. So that means no glasses marks. But in the next few checkups, there probably will be a glasses mark because I need to see, you know? But yeah, let me zoom you guys in. You can check it out and then we'll be back for the next checkup. All right, guys, as you can see, it looks really really good like around my nose area it's looking pretty fresh so yeah i guess i'll check you guys for our second checkup which should be around 5 6 p.m i'm still gonna go eat something and i'm going to do my nails because it's a sad situation but yeah i'll catch up with you guys just now <laughs> hey guys we're back it is 5 27 at the moment and I'm just coming in for my second checkup. The foundation is looking quite good. It's holding out really well. My face is not even oily. Like, that's still a glow, okay? Sorry about, like, my mismatched hands. I'm busy doing my nails. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty good. As always, the nose is, like, ruined because of my glasses. But it looks really good. There's, like, no oils. So far so good. I'm still sticking to the fact that this could be my new favorite foundation. I'll come back a little bit later for my final check-in and then I'll share my thoughts with you guys then. Peace. Hello guys. It is 53 past 9 or like 7 minutes to 10. I don't know. It depends how you look at it. <laughs> and I just wanted to come on and conclude this video. What is this? I'm still like busy with my nails. I don't know, I've been taking mini breaks. So it's taking me a while to do my nails today. Yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you guys my foundation. So let me just zoom you in, show you the nose, get all that stuff. It's looking good, not gonna lie. My face doesn't look extremely oily, but come forth and we will take a look. The nose area, we're going to discard that. So it looks pretty good. Like it looks super, super good, not gonna lie. It doesn't look cakey at all. Um, I see a bit of separation like around my nose area, mouth as always. Um, I had lunch and had dinner and some Doritos, so that's why that probably looks like that. The forehead looks kind of good, not too bad. I don't know why the lighting looks blue. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. But would I recommend this foundation? 10 out of 10. Is it worth the coin? Totally. It's totally worth the coin. It's cheaper than some of the foundations that are in clicks and it performs much better than most of them. So I would totally recommend this. This one gets a thumbs up for the full day wear test. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase the foundation. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.